first Sunday of August. Many didn't make it, but you, how loud to the beast here today?
Sunday school lesson, but some of y'all didn't get a chance to come. I think it was very relevant. Amen. Very timely. And I think the next one is as well. Man, it talks about inner struggles. And all of us got some inner struggles. All of us. Some of us don't lie about it, but all of us got some inner struggles. Man, I... And the answer to it is the guise of the Holy Spirit. But that was a couple of questions that I'm not, I'm, that I'm going to turn into statements. It says, have you ever experienced an occasion when your love or consideration from someone else motiv motivated you to be, more, to be more careful with what you said or did in their presence? You ain't got to even answer that question. What it's simply saying, and this is just a little, just a little bit sidebar moment, me and the congregation here to believe I'm a part. If love doesn't challenge you to pause to consider somebody else before you do something, mm -hmm. something shaky yeah. about your love. Yeah. If you can treat anybody any kind of way, something strange about that love. And then turn around and say them four letter words, L-O-V-E, and treat somebody, what you say, Deacon? Something wrong. Something wrong. Because the Spirit of God, true love, don't let you just walk on folk and treat people any kind of way and talk to him any kind of way without some conviction to say, I need to get it right. Some wrong. And if your love is funny, man, that woman, you better not die with that. Because hell we're going to be your own. So it told us, that, and so many times people don't come to Sunday school to Bible study, which I do understand that because that's some teaching going on, and see, when you know better, you have to do better. <laughs> but reality, if you don't know, God still don't care. And when you get to God, he don't, he don't say, well, you didn't know, come on in. No, you, you still hear accountable for that. This is spirit of God to help you love right, treat people right. I'm not going to say you don't have a bad day because there's people, it said, inner struggles. Because all of us got some inner struggles. But at the end of the day, I don't want to stay at that point. I need to get it right with God and people. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me here. All of us got some struggles, some sins in our life that we need God to cleanse. Uh, then the question, it asks this question right here. It says, I believe it is. It dealt with something. Let me find the next question here. What steps would you recommend for someone seeking to overcome their, their struggle with a particular sin? I'm, I'm taking time now because this is teaching more. I can't get most of y'all come to Sunday School Bible Study. But we're dealing with that discipleship because I ain't used to come to church told the Bible and die to go to hell. That's right. I mean, you can literally tow the Bible, come to church, and not have a relationship with God and die to go to hell. Real talk. So coming to church ain't enough. It's being a disciple, sincere follower of God. I believe, and so now when we look at that, what man, people struggle with sin. So what is it? I, you know, I'm, I'm not a, uh, I, I, I'm not to catch all, understand all God is, but I've have learned through process 
seeking and watching is that one thing about it, if you got a sin in your life and you, and you keep hiding it, it'll never get healed. Right. Until you become real with yourself, mm-hmm. Pastor Parham can't make you real. Amen. Your neighbor can't make you real. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife right. can't make you real. Amen. You got to become real with yourself Amen. and get to the you and God have to get to the root cause of your problem. That's how sin moves. That's the first thing. Acknowledging that you got an issue. And sometimes people walk around, I ain't got no issues. Like I told them earlier, that's just like walking and, and, and walking the dog do and walking around town, everybody smell, I smell something. It ain't me. Yeah. I don't know, but it coming from some area. <laughs> it ain't me. And then you can have stink on you for so long, you'll get comfortable and you won't even know you stink. Right. Won't even know you smell yourself. Everybody else smell you, but you don't know. I'm all right. No, you need a bath in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's sin. That's sin. Sin was how you stinking. And everybody else smell you except you. And everything, anything he he it can't be healed. That's one hundred. So and you got to acknowledge. You know they say an alcohol is anonymous, and and they got another. So that's the that's the secular side. But on the spiritual side, um, they and we use another celebrate recovery on the spiritual side when you're dealing with addictions. And they just say the first step to getting he- help and healing, it acknowledge it. And so many problems, many people can't get what they need because they want to acknowledge they need help. All of us need help. And all of us need the Lord. I mean, I'm real tired. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I got a little message, but this, but I mean, God leads them. I'm just walking with God. Because it's time to get real with God and quit playing. Because life ain't, life ain't, life is, people die. I don't know, people dying, leaving here, man. Quit. Quit. Of all ages. And you don't never know when your number going to come up. And so the guy walked around with, uh, with, with doo-doo on him and didn't even know it because he had got comfortable riding along and he can't even smell it himself. And everybody tell him, hey, man, you smell funny. I ain't no wrong with me. You yeah, ain't no wrong with me. Because he had become comfortable with his stench. There's got to be at some point in your life, somebody got to be able to tell you something. You're in a dangerous spot. When can't nobody tell you nothing? You're gonna change your spot, brother, sister. Because there's a way to seem to be right at the end thereof is death. And so your first step to getting some kind of help is acknowledge I I'm seeing marriages. I walked in marriages and I'm I'm through. Seeing marriages. Everybody got their own thing going on. Nobody want to acknowledge they're wrong. Everybody want to be right. What is good being right if you're going to lose everything you got? But I found out many marriages that people come together, they, they, went, they didn't come together right. And I suggest to any of my people that's getting right married now, anybody say my voice, whether it be in a church or whether it be through the chaplain, hey man, if you not, if you don't, you not have a good relationship with God, you ought not be marrying nobody. Because you got to first know yourself. And so many times we go into marriage with problems and thinking that person that we married on the side, and they can't side it. Only God can do it. Oh, you do a two, two married people with problems, don't, guess what? Multiply the problem. Have more problems. Amen. But you need God. That's what's going to get help come from. And so, that, and so when I read that statement, the first step to help is God. And God does not need help. I've been a fool. I've been a fool before. I can do this on my own. And I had to bump my head and figure out, no, I can't. But thank God that I wasn't so foolish that I had to lose my life to figure out that I can't do this without God. 
You, we need Jesus. Yeah. Sin is a, a sickness that deals with all of us. Yeah. And the only way you can get past it is with the Spirit of God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 So acknowledge your fault. Don't never get to the point, I'm too old to change. You ain't never too old. You ought to every day, you ought to be asking God, change me. Change me. Work on me. And you ain't never too old. You ought to be a lifelong learner. I want to every day, every day school is in session. Every day you wake up, school is in session. There's a classroom that you go into. And you can remain there ignorant or you can learn something. But this class is in session every day of life. So let God teach you something. And it only comes through humility. And yet you got to come. Then you got to, so then secondly, after you're not at something, you got to learn how to share with other folks. So not everybody. You can't share your day with everybody. Don't get it wrong. But some people that you know that will hold you accountable. You got a porn addiction, you got to get somebody to hold you accountable. You ain't watching that either. <laughs> you got a drinking, you're a, you're a drinker, you got a drinking addiction. When you ought to have somebody in your corner every time they see your car pass the liquor store, they're calling you. You all right, okay? You <laughs> got a marijuana addiction, you got to smoke the weed and you need somebody to intervene every now and then and tell you don't do that. You got to let somebody hold you accountable because it's a danger trying to count yourself accountable because you'll talk yourself into it. Ah, right, this one more time ain't going to hurt me. Okay. I'm grown. That's the favorite saying. Grown, you grown to it go wrong. And then y'all pray for me. Yeah, yeah sure, man. You'll be surprised as a chaplain. And I'm talking about this ain't just from a pastor, this is from God seeing the chaplain. See, this has ministry all around, man. People don't want to acknowledge their faults. Until to it comes blatantly and new the time when it comes too blatantly evident, it's too late. Don't wait too late to get help. I want to help you. Amen? Amen. Don't take it to the point that you got to lose everything you got and even your mind to go down on your knees and say, God, help me. I want to be better. Don't, have, don't make God take you that far because he will. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just had a pass. Every now and then you got a pass. Hey Amen. Get real. Because it ain't gonna get it won't get healed until it get real. Yeah. 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 When they say it's your child locked up uh. for life. Yeah. When they say your baby got your brain got splattered out on the country. Uh. Yeah. Amen. Right, don't tell me your uh, I just say the probably ain't the time to be giving, but this is giving time. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get some real talk. Amen. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Now, the pastor was just saying, I think he mentioned something about habits. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a habit that you don't need to stop. Oh, All right. It's time to get Sunday of August. Many didn't make it, but you, I allowed you to be here.